Greetings! Today I've got a somewhat interesting item to take apart and it's this um, Ionic Air Purifier by Lentec Air Gold XJ210 and a lot of the Ionic purifiers are made by simply a voltage multiplier across the mains and that's what gives the high voltage and that's through corona discharge that's what gets the negative ions generated and produces ozone and all that sort of stuff but this one is a little bit different so um, this one uh, I don't think it's made that way um, and we'll have a look inside to see what uh, what makes it work it um, it also has a UV lamp in here for killing all the bad germs and and things like that but most importantly uh, I'm interested on how it's uh, constructed I suspect it will be not the usual cheap negative ion generator inside so um, let's have a look and um, also there is a couple of faults with this that I'll attempt to fix in the process so come and join me and here is the subject so this is the lamp uh, the purifier as I said uh, it's uh, XJ210 by Lentec Air Gold and it's got a switch on the back which allows you to switch whether you want uh, just the fan which is not working at the moment and I'll try to fix that uh, or UV only or fan and UV uh, which is most probably the best modes to use it in and um, yeah let's take it apart there is four screws on the back and let's have a look what's inside first let's re remove the covers from the front that just comes off and it's got a blue filter thing so the blue light shines through the dots over here nicely um, and here is the UV lamp and a little reflector you can see the plastic has gone all yellow over the years of use that this had um, and there is a silicone ring holding the lamp in place and the silicone has gone all brittle and and hard almost as plastic and you can see the lamp probably you can see there's tiny drops of mercury that if I just tap it they do move around a little bit there's just just a few drops those sides those come off and that slides out and there is this part which electrically is connected to um, inside to the high voltage and this is this can be taken out for cleaning on both sides and it also has this little lip that as you put it pull it in or out of here you can hear that it makes well, when I get it right it makes this sound and basically what this does I'll show you inside this rubs cleans the tips of the, the sharp points that have got high voltage on it so that's a dual purpose when you take this out it's kind of self-cleaning okay the screws are out and interestingly they are completely non-magnetic uh, it didn't pick up with a magnet strange uh, okay but let's uh, take the cover off and what we have uh, well, already you can see that there is quite a bit more circuitry in here than you did expect in your usual high voltage generator or ionic generator as they're sometimes called so those two little spiky spiky toothed metal pieces this is what creates the corona discharge and because high voltage will always project corona discharge from very sharp points and those are really sharp I mean yeah they will pierce a finger straight away they are extremely sharp and um, yeah that's where the high voltage goes through those two wires and the high voltage generator is is here and that thing is let's have a look but I suspect this is a completely separate unit yeah so the high voltage generator is all in here um, it's all potted it's a sealed unit with a high voltage transformer you can see clearly that it is a high voltage transformer because it has those divisions um, to yeah to avoid arcing over but um, I need to the solder well, I need to uh, unscrew the switch and the solder the mains wires and uh, yes we've got uh, we've got a board a few wires so 
There's a couple of more screws holding the board inside and a little bit of hot snot glue so let's get all that removed and then we can have a look at individual things on what's happening in here and how is that made. Okay and when the screws are out I've just disconnected and uh, this power that this cable that goes to the high voltage power supply for the ion generator. And there's I think not one but two high voltage power supplies yes. So there's this one here a smaller one that powers the uh, ultraviolet lamp. This here, it's also a fully potted ME19A and that's a fully potted module and with just high voltage, you can tell it's high voltage because of the cutout. It's a very old board, uh, old school, just a paper resin type of material. It's a typical uh, switch mode power supply, so we've got mains coming in, goes through a, a fuse, we've got a class X2 self healing capacitor, common mode choke, and then a control chip which is KPU007. It's very old and uh, it's not very readable. And here we've got a tiny transformer that provides for what it looks like a single output. There are six pins on here, so there will be primary winding, feedback winding and the secondary output. So that tells me that everything in here is powered from 12 volts. Since this little transformer has got only one secondary winding, that means everything in here works off of 12 volts. This fan, the high volt, this high voltage uh, transformer or converter generator as well. So since we've got it apart, let's power this up separately and have a look what happens. Okay, I've got it connected to the power supply, uh, set to 12 volts and half an amp of uh, current limit. Um, and with a little bit of luck, when I switch the output on, we should see, we should start seeing the corona discharge at the sharp points over here. So let's have a look. Output on. I know what's missing. It's those plates. We need to have those connected and those have to be uh, grounded. Okay, I've connected those plates on both sides to the negative uh, of the power supply and let's try again. So, on and I can, I can smell ozone straight away but there isn't much visible so let me Let's try again with lights switched off. Okay, you should be able to see now, so I'm about to switch it on. And there you go, you can see the bright blue points are just at the tips of the of the pointy edges and yeah that's that's the corona discharge and that's what produces the ozone. And I must say that it's quite quite strong quite strong smell straight away because it must be producing quite a lot of it. Okay, it turns out that the motor little one here was just seized up and a little bit of WD-40 makes it work just as new. Okay, so that's working. So now I think I can put this back together now and leave it in peace because this is going to be um, serving for a little longer. Okay, so that's repaired and complete. The fan is happily pulling the air through. And um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little look inside of this unit. Subscribe for more random electronics related stuff and please do give me a like under this video if you are still listening to me. For the time being, take care.